So we need to find we need to find a the expression that we're going to put in here that satisfies this. I've got a question before I even go over and look at the particulars of this. If I took the derivative of both sides of this, what would I get? If I took the derivative of this side, what would I get? dy yeah. dx. Yeah. And if I took the derivative of this integral, what would I get? f of x. The derivative of the integral is equal to the integrand itself. Again, that's fundamental theorem of calculus part one. Wait, so I take that information, and what do I find? What is f of x? Sine cubed x. So I think that I'm partially along the way of getting, I basically feel so good. <laughs> So I think we're that far along the way. Are we agreed? <laughs> now, what's missing? What do we need to finish? What, we need to know what A is, and we need to know what C is. Well, I think we're going to take these two pieces of information and put them together. All right? And it looks something like this. I'm going to say when x is 5, when x is 5, oops, I don't want a 0 there. I want a 5 there. A can be any constant. How about I make it 5? Sine cubed. So now, imagine me putting a 5 into that location. Y would end up equaling 0. But if x is 5 in that location, what does this whole expression equal? Zero. Zero. So what number would C have to be in order to be, keep this sentence true? Zero. Zero. So I'm going to go with the integral from 5 to x of sine cubed t dt plus 0. And that's what I'm going to say. My final answer is Regis. How did I do? A million dollars. I wish that... I wish the problems that easy were our, the million dollar questions. Is that for half math problems? No. They're probably silly math problems like which of these is the area of a circle? There's this video on YouTube. <laughs> the girl is singing from the entire time and she's like, yeah, because you don't ever need to know that I was the third person behind Emily who was the first person who was the second person of. <laughs> Behind Jimmy. Math, math is going to come in handy for that for that young lady when she's on a river road steamer going upstream, but there's another <laughs> river road steamer going downstream, and it takes two hours for them to cross paths. She'll need math then, though. <laughs> All right. Are we okay with problem number 21? Yeah. All right.